for Herbie playing with me today. There's more. Oh. Thanks, Mum. So Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> What's up? Um, I completely forgot to do like, you know, an intro for the video. So yesterday was such a nice day. I had work all day, but then I went to see my friend Maxine, and it was so refreshing and so nice. Chill out with her, really. She's just one of those people who has such positive energy about her she just spreads positivity wherever she goes and i'm just grasping onto that energy i'm like give me some of that i've got work again today boring but um i've <clears throat> i'm seeing my friend shannon tonight we're going to this bar i think i don't know where we're going we're going to some kind of bar which is really nice and i'm I'm late, so I gotta go. Wow, look at these bags in my eyes. They are real. Let's make a smoothie. Smoothie time, smoothie time. So I'm sick. It happened. I was feeling it coming for a few days and I thought I would ignore it, but it happened. So I thought I'd just do a bit of a catch up with you, so. Um, I went out with my friend Shannon a few nights ago, <laughs> you know, a chill drink never turns into a chill drink, it always turns into something else, but today was the um, Women's Right March in London and I really wanted to go. No, it really upsets me how women have been fighting for their rights since like the 1950s and it's like 2017 now and we're like still going on about it like oh come on man this is so old like get over yourself and it's not even just women's rights it's everybody like it's just equality it's just ugh, I've got I'm not very good with my words but I think it's because I have no words for it. I'm just completely and utterly shocked. But anyway, that's a different matter. On a happier note, um, I think I'm gonna make churros and cookies with my flatmates because I've been living off of plain toast for the past two days and I just want some cookies because I feel like I've lost majority of my weight. So I'm gonna put it back on with cookies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so I know like the whole Trump situation technically isn't funny, but may the stuff that has been put all over Facebook like is actually cracking me up. I solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute. I will faithfully execute the office of President of the Attack and Defend. Protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. I guess you gotta find some kind of humor in it, but. But it was so emotional to see like all of the people protesting for the Women's March in America and here in London like it was so amazing to see it all over social media and just see the support and the love They can't fuck with us <laughs> Right, I should be doing work um, I've set myself a project which I need to start working on because I've set my deadline for it near the end of February um, and I haven't even started, so why is she starting that? Um, mother's coming tomorrow, so I need to clean my room, so a pretty boring evening. Welcome to my life. Um, but yeah, this lighting though. Ooh, 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 no jokes, I look so shiny. <laughs> Where did I put my keys? Drink your water. Stay hydrated. Healthy life. And all the lies that Right, I know this lighting is like so shitty and I'm literally like sat on this chair. But, gotta do what you 
got it too. A few days, as you've probably seen, but um, I just had somebody come over for a few days, so I really wanted to just spend some quality quality time with him. And so I didn't vlog, but um, before ending this vlog, I just wanted to do like a bit of a catch up, because I saw that I hadn't posted a video for the past two months. And I was just kind of reflecting on the past two months because I've been living in London for about three months now. And I just want to talk about it a little bit because I think I completely underestimated how difficult moving here would be. Um, that's why I haven't filmed for about two months because I... I went through a pretty rough time for the first two months living here. Um, I would just, I just wasn't happy. It's the thing about London is that it's so easy to get lonely here. It is so easy to fall into. I don't want to call it depression, but it's so easy to fall into this comfy pocket of sadness and loneliness. It's very easy, but um, I. Th I, I believe that everybody goes through it when they first move out or move into a new place. And for the first few months it's hard, but I feel like I'm finally getting out of that and like I'm finally meeting new people and really embracing this city. Um, financially I'm fucked all the time. Sorry mom for the language. <laughs> but um, yeah, but I've learned so much. I've learned I've learned so many lessons, definitely the hard way, but I've, yeah, I've learned how to be independent. I've learned how to rely on myself and stop relying on other people. I've started to learn not to be so stressed about small things like money and materialistic objects and just start loving life, really. My quick little update since moving here to London town. Did I want an average Spotify? No. Catchy time, a dancer. Oh. Do you like my shirt, by the way? I got it from this charity store. It's pretty dope, pretty dope. Um, oh, talking about shirts. Um, I have reopened my Depop shop. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want some really really cheap affordable vintage clothes and i got you covered i got you i got you so yeah just check out my website um i post every tuesdays like my tuesdays are the days i always post there are some other days which i may be able to post but tuesdays are the ones um <laughs> so promo <laughs> but yeah so i'm just gonna give this vlog a close. I always find it so awkward closing videos because I'm like, okay, okay, bye. Peace. Bye.